A word of the day. A word of the day comes from the book of Psalms 92, verses 1 and 2. And it says, It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. To declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for that. I read it once more. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. To declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. Amen. I think we all just need to sometime just reflect on how good the Lord is and just give him thanks. We, we give him thanks for just waking us up this morning and getting us through another week. We thank him for the fact that we are all truly blessed then no matter what the circumstances are, when no matter what the trials and tribulations we go through and the things that we would have those things no matter what. But we know that with the Lord, God makes these things bearable. He gives us comfort. He helps us to see the bigger pictures. Help us to just understand the, his ways and not the ways of the world. And his ways are so much better. And truly, truly the Lord loves us. He gives us his loving kindness for those who are faithful to him. Those who put their trust in him. Those who walk with him. Every day we wake up, we walk with the Lord. No matter what that looks like, no matter what we see, what we hear, what we go through, we just keep walking with the Lord. And the Lord will truly walk with us. Amen. In Psalms 33, verse 1, it says, Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise from the upright is beautiful. Amen to that. This is the Sabbath day. This is the Sabbath day we rest in the Lord. This is the day that we give him honor and glory and praise. The day that we just lay all our burdens to him and just let him take care of it. Today is the day the Lord has made. We should all be rejoicing and be glad in it. Because this is the true Sabbath day to our Lord Jesus Christ. In Hebrews 4 verse 9 it says, There remains therefore a rest. For the people of God. Today is our day of rest. So find some rest in the Lord today. Find that peace that he gives us. Call upon his name. Talk to him today. And let him just do a mighty work and continue to guide us and lead us, protect us. In Psalms 9, verse 2, it says, I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. The Lord <clears throat> is always waiting. He's always there. He's here to just be sad and gloomy and miserable. No, we are to be happy and we are to rejoice in him because we have the high, most high God, the most high God. Today, let us be recognized that we are his children and he is our God. And truly, that's all really God wanted to do. When we go back into the Bible in the early days, he just wanted them to be, serve him and follow him. And he would be their people and he would be our God. Praise the Lord for that. And the same holds true today. He just wants us to be his people and he will be our God. 
in one Psalms 147, verse 1, it says, Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant, and praise is beautiful. Amen. Today, on the, on the Sabbath day of rest, let us all give thanks and praise the Lord. Isaiah 57, verse 15, it says, For thus says the high and lofty one who exhibits eternity, whose name is holy, I will dwell on high and I will dwell in the high and holy place with him who has a contrite heart and humble spirit. With him who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble, to revive the heart of the contrite one. The Lord was truly telling us to just, just be humble, be loving, be merciful. The greatest two commandments is to love him and love people. Let us continue to walk with him and we will truly see great and mighty things. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for just reminding us to just give you all the honor and all the glory and all the praise today as we walk in this day of Sabbath, day of rest in you. Help us to just be with you. Help give us time to just give you honor and glory and praise, to pray with you. And we know that you will truly do a mighty work for your people. Everything will be made right. You know our issues. You know our problems. We surrender them all to you right now. You fight our battles. You right the wrongs. You help us in our times of trouble. But today, this is the day you have made, and we should rejoice and be glad in it. And help us to be rejoiceful and be glad today. In your day of rest today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his confidence. Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all and have a wonderful, beautiful day in the Lord.